guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I am doing my everyday eye makeup routine and it seems like every time I'm reading my comments lately it's from you guys wanting this tutorial. So here it is, I do read my comments so if you want to know something leave it in the comments, I'll write back. With that said, remember if there's a look that you guys want to see or a product that you want me to do a review on, leave that in the comments below as well and eventually I will get to them and I like have like a little storage pocket up here for all of my video ideas and this was one of them and after all of your guys' comments from the last few videos, I knew I had to do it. So again, it's really simple. I almost didn't even know if I should do a tutorial on this look but I'm giving the people what they want to see. So let's get started. I'm going to show you what I use. Alright, so the first thing I like to do before applying eyeshadows is apply a primer. And the one that I've been using for about two weeks now is the Benefit Stay Don't Stray Primer. It's a little sample size that I bought. Um, and it came in like a little set of other trial sizes from Benefit. But if you guys watch my videos, you know I love the Paint Pot in Soft Ochre from MAC. But truthfully, this is a little bit dry right now. And I'm kind of fed up with putting it on my eye and it not turning out how I want it to be. So either I just have to buy a new one of those or buy a new primer for my eyeshadows. So I just start with dabbing a little bit on the lids. And I do bring it up to the brow bone because I do take my eyeshadows up to the brow bone. So I want to make sure that it's all covered. And oh, I try to not apply too much because if you do, it ends up like this. And you really just don't need that much on there. But uh, I'm just going to spread it out. Because this one is colored, it's in the shade light medium, it actually helps your eyeshadows show up more than if you were to just use one that's more translucent like. So that is a positive. Do you guys like my new dash mirror? This is from my sister when she went to Miami. She picked it up for me. So for my everyday eyes lately, I've been using the Tartlet palette from Tarte. And I really love this palette because it's all mattes. I do have a video on this, so I'll link it for you guys to check out as well. But I really want to stress to you guys that you don't need to go running out to Sephora to buy this if you already have a ton of eyeshadow palettes at home or if you have colors similar to these. Try and follow along with the colors that I'm using and see if you have those shades in your kit. The first shade that I'm using is Free Spirit and it's a neutrally yellow beige toned eyeshadow. And what I like to do is just go ahead and apply that all over the lid. And when I say lid, I do mean bringing it all the way up to the brow bone. Because this just really helps to create a base for the eyeshadows that you're going to be using on top. Say if you're going to be using transition colors, you want to really make sure they're going to show. So if you have one overall base, it's going to help you get the look that you're going for. And I don't really know why it's getting a little blotchy right here. It could be maybe because maybe I applied too much primer or maybe it's still wet, but gonna go over top of that and give it a little extra love. And if you guys are wondering, I am using the Essel Miss Glam eyeshadow brush to apply the base. Now the second shade that I'm going to be using is called Wanderer and this is like the perfect perfect neutral shade to put in the crease because it adds a little bit of color but it looks more like your bone so especially if you have a high crease like mine or more prominent it's going to really help emphasize that brow bone and make it look really natural as though it's just your actual uh, skin so use a color that's very similar to what your skin tone is like but just uh, maybe two shades darker so what I like to do is take a, this is a really big fluffy brush. I believe this is like a crown brush. It's from Crown Brushes. So I'm just going to place that right in my crease. And what I like to do is just follow along the natural, sh like the shade that I see right here. That is where I'm going to apply the color. And I just like to take my brush back and forth. I might go around in circles to really blend the color in. But I make sure that with this crease color, I bring it to about where my contour of the nose is. So you can see I did contour my nose today. It's right here. And I'm bringing the eyeshadow into that. And I'm not going to be bringing any of the color onto the lid. Because if this were a nighttime look, I'd probably go in and smoke it up on the outer corners. You've seen me do that. That's just what a more dramatic look is. But this is daytime. A lot of the looks that I do this eye on are just like my Sunday eye where I'm not wearing much makeup, but I want to bring out my eyes a little bit. So the third shade that I'm going to use is Dreamer, and this is your darker brown. So think of this one maybe 
four or five shades darker than the one that you just put into your crease. It's just really to help emphasize the colors that you've already put on and maybe add a little bit more drama. And for this step, I'm using a Sigma E25 blending brush and I'm just going over top of the shades that I just put in there. This isn't a cut crease because it's not supposed to be that dramatic. It's just supposed to darken it up a little and make it look like you tried just a little bit more if you really got to amp it up. <laughs> so now what I'll do is I'll go back in with my big fluffy brush and do my circular motions and really blend it all in. So I'm just going to go back over the base and clean it up a little. You see the difference that that makes versus that? This one looks a little muddy, this one just looks a little bit more clean. So I also like to go back on top of the brow bone, just underneath the brow, and clean this area up as well. And that is my everyday eyeshadow routine. I don't bring any shadow underneath because that just tends to make me look tired. It emphasizes the dark circles that I might have. I only really do that if I'm doing more of a dramatic evening smoky eye look. But for daytime, this is it. I will apply an eyeliner. I should probably show you that because if I don't, I know you guys will probably be PO'd and be like, why didn't you show me your eyeliner routine? So let's do that too. What I'm currently using is the e.l.f. Cream Eyeliner in Black and I'm going to be using a MAC Angled Brush number 266 and this eyeliner, if again, if you guys are watching my videos, you see me use it all the time, it's the bomb and it's only like three or four dollars depending on where you live and it lasts all day. So I have a video, I'll link that for you guys to check out. And I always find I can't really talk too much while I do a winged eyeliner because I'm totally concentrating and I don't want to mess up my lines. What I like to do is get the base on there. So I got my big chunk of it on and now I'm going to go and see what kind of shape I want. So I'm going to connect it to my tear duct. Okay, now you can see I've kind of made it a little bit bigger than I really wanted to. So let's go and even it out. Smooth save, Trina, smooth save. And it's really important when doing a winged eyeliner to get the space between your lashes and your eyeliner. Because sometimes you'll see that people don't connect it and it'll be missing color and it just looks kind of funny. So make sure to go back in and really connect it almost like where your waterline is and your lashes and it just darkens it up and makes it look more complete. And at this point, what I like to do is start my wing and you guys, thumbs up this video if you have a daily struggle with trying to make your wing eyeliner match. That is me every day. Every day. Alright, and then once my wings are on there, I like to go in with a lash curler and curl up my lashes before applying mascara. I do do it afterwards once they're dry. Again, I've mentioned this in another video, but don't tell anybody I taught you that because that's not really good advice that they teach you in makeup school because you could pull out your eyelashes if you do it too rough or your lashes are too wet. And the mascara of choice is the L'Oreal Voluminous Carbon Black. This mascara just helps me have volume and thickness to the lashes. I the other one that I use a lot is um, this guy, the Lash Sense Lash Sensational from Mas. Mascara, oh my god! The Maybelline Lash Sensational, I can never say that one. But I use that sometimes, sometimes I'll double up on both of them. But the, the Maybelline one is really good for separation of the lashes, so I like using that one on the bottom lashes. Oh my god. I like using that one on the bottom lashes if I decide to do that that day. Oh my god, Trina can't talk. Hashtag Trina struggle. So that's pretty much it to this everyday eye makeup routine of mine. I hope you guys liked it and found it helpful. If you did, please give it a thumbs up so I can see. Also, I'm on Snapchat now, so you can add me. My username is Trina Dura. And one more thing, if you would like to help me out, please share this video with all of your friends so that they can see it. And if you're new to my channel, please subscribe for new beauty videos. New ones every Friday. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.